Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio here, back with another Mafia City video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few different ways to increase your resource production on your main or farm accounts in the game. So, let's get started. The most obvious ways of increasing your resource production are by upgrading your buildings and investments. You want to max out all of your resource production buildings and investments to maximize resource production. For resource investments, I'd suggest only doing the first tier investments and ignoring the second tier investments as the tier 2 investments cost way too many resources to max out. Another way of increasing your resource production is by investing your skill points in resource production in the growth tree. You can also get some more resource production from your VIP buff. Players that are VIP 10 or higher can get a 25% resource production buff. Then you also have item buffs which you get from the items you use on your resource production buildings. If you haven't watched my video on how to correctly use your resource production buffs, I'd highly recommend doing so as it'll help you save a lot of resource production items by making them more efficient. You can also increase your resource production by upgrading a few of your babes. Babes like Diana and Karina help increase your resource production. Then you can also use your equipment to increase resource production. The best equipment for increasing resource production is the Kingpin set. I'd recommend getting this set on your main account at least as it not only helps with resource production but it also saves you a ton of training speedups while training troops. For roadsters you'd want to use the tidal wave which gives you 40% resource production and for godfather's equipment you'd want to use the level 5 ring. Then you also get some extra resource production buffs for being inside your clan territory. You get buffs for being appointed as an official by mayor or governor. You also get a 10% cargo production buff from 1 star Adriana. And you also get some extra buffs from the plantation store. Your entire clan will get a buff if you use a clan badge that increases your resource production. All of these methods help you increase your resource production buffs by a little. However, the best way of increasing your resource production is by equipping the developing set on as many vigilantes as possible. To benefit from the equipment, you don't even need to equip your vigilantes with a full set. All you need to do is equip them with the developing hat which gives arms production and the exquisite tux which gives metal production. Once you have both equipped, you get an extra set buff which increases your total resource production. The best part about the buffs you get from the developing set is that they act like passive skills. There's no need to garrison your vigilantes wearing the developing equipment on your wall to get the buffs. You get them immediately after your vigilante equips the equipment. At grey quality, you get around 2% arms and metal production for every vigilante you put these two pieces of equipment on. And if you can equip your vigilantes with gold quality, then you should be able to get a 20% arms and metal production buff per vigilante. This is one of the best ways of increasing your resource production buffs. Since I'm already trying to upgrade my extremist set using developing pieces, I put them on my vigilantes whenever I make them to get extra resource production. And when I have enough developing pieces to upgrade the extremist set, I unequip them from my vigilantes and use them to upgrade the set. That's how I use my developing set equipment. The only problem is that you need to get your vigilantes to level 20 before you can equip them with the developing set, and this is usually a challenge for a lot of players. So those are all the ways in the game for increasing your resource production. If you know of any more ways, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.